Determining your accent wall is quite simple. It's typically the first wall you see when you walk into the room. What gets a little more complicated is deciding if that wall is actually accent worthy. So you wanna look at your wall and see if there's a focal point. Is there a great fireplace you wanna bring attention to, some architectural detailing, or is the wall a standalone enhancement to the room that's worthy of accentuating? In my case, we have uh, the wall between the living room and the dining room accented with a vibrant green color, which is perfect for the large windows that look outside. The next thing you wanna consider is whether the color you're choosing can handle the decor in the rest of the space. If everything will sort of blend together, um, throughout the space so that the accent wall doesn't just stand by itself to bring the color into your room. Finding the right color for your accent wall is um, kind of a fun process, but it's more uh, detailed than just simply choosing a color because you like it. Purple is one of my favorite colors, but it definitely doesn't work within my space. So what you need to do is look around the room and look at the fabrics, carpet, throw cushions, and try and figure out a color that blends really well with the main body of the room, yet adds some, uh, adds some excitement to the space. Because that's what you're trying to do when you create an accent wall. You're trying to bring excitement into the space, but what you're not trying to do is to add chaos to the room. Uh, the accent wall really enhances the space. So when I went to choose that vibrant green tone that I settled on, I looked at our artwork because it really is um, a big feature within the decor of our living room, dining room area. So this vibrant painting by Bobby Burgers is uh, obviously very colorful and I take my fan deck and put it towards the, the painting and try and determine which color would really complement the other colors in it. Red is obviously too much of a contrast. It's not a good complement. The oranges and yellows would work really well, but I find they're a really strong feature within the painting, so that doesn't seem like it's a complement. I ended up going with the greens because I really like what the green is doing for the artwork. So that's how I determined my accent wall. You just really wanna make sure that you like what that color is gonna do for your space. And the other thing to keep in mind is to make sure that the color is gonna work with the other three walls that you've painted. In my case, it's a grayish, taupey, beige, gray color. And the green really uh, is a great color with that. And, and the, the color that I chose has some muddiness to it that works really well with the grayish tones on the other walls. And now what you need to determine is whether the accent wall color can easily be incorporated throughout the rest of the decor in the house. Can you accessorize through um, throw cushions, decorative pillows, dishes, placemats, hand towels, area carpets, decorative throws? Well, that color work and all the, the little bits of accessories that you might bring into your home, if you're able to incorporate that color, just with little little hints of it throughout uh, the accessories you choose, then you know you've made a really wise choice and that color will serve to enhance the overall decor of your home.